Here to reveal the cures you've been looking for is world explorer Dan Buettner. Welcome back, Dan. All right. <laughs> now, five members of our audience have a case that contains each of these cures, but will they have the courage to try them? Cure number five, please join us. Come on down. How are you? Right. So, this cure has been used for centuries in the country of Japan. Tiandra, let's see what you got in there. Ooh, bitter melon. So, what's the story with bitter melon, Dan? Yes, this actually contains a compound called charanitin, which actually lowers blood sugar, so it's a medicine. But for about $3.50 a pound, you can get it at a local market. Give it a try. And this helps uh, for diabetes, by the way. <laughs> you have any diabetes in your family? Yes, actually, my dad. Yeah. Well, let's see if it uh, survives. Uh. If there's a more bitter vegetable on earth, oh. science hasn't found it. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes are You're a brave girl. <laughs> you like it? Oh my mm. goodness. Oh, well, the secret is to chop it thin and fry it up with some tofu yeah. and some nice herbs, and you got yeah. a wonderful yeah. stir fry. You should taste this one on your own. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Cure <laughs> number four, you're up. Come join us. Hi, Marianne. How Hello. are you? Good. Okay. The next region we're going to be visiting is Polynesia. All right, Marianne, open the case. See what you got okay. in there. Mm. This is a real sample of it. Noni berry. Now, I've heard of this, actually. What's noni berry about, Dan? Yes. Uh, noni berry actually lowers inflammation, so it's really good for your immune system, and it also can be good for skin ailments. Can I try okay. it? Sure. No, no, no. He hurt me on the first one. Mm. I happen to know it makes a delicious martini, too. Mm. Oh, it's not bad. That's not bad. That yeah. I might actually have. Yeah. This is available in health food stores? Yes, you can either get it as a juice or oh. as a supplement. Oh. Fantastic. Thank you. Are you taking it with you? Oh, enjoy the next day. <laughs> Thank <Appreciate> you. <laughs> All right. Cure number three. Come join us. How are you? I got that. And your cure comes from the region of the world spins, and we see Tibet, Tibet China. Let's see what you got in there. Cordyceps. Yes. <laughs> Now, I've heard about this a lot. Teach us about cordyceps. Let me just tell you, this is the bravest girl we have up here. This is arguably... That's bad, by the way. <laughs> you don't want to be the bravest. <laughs> this, this is arguably the, the most valuable Asian medicine known, but it, it also, it's a fungus, and it invades caterpillars. You should have told her that ahead of time. <laughs> the caterpillar... Better taste it first. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Try not to imagine a caterpillar exploding in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty accurate description. That was terrible. But, but, but actually, that fungus has been shown to fight breast cancer and to fight different types of skin cancers. And Olympic athletes have used it for performance enhancers. Uh -huh. yeah, oh. you, you might want to wait a few hours before kissing your husband. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good, the good news is you can actually buy this in vitamin stores and drug stores. It comes in pill form, too. Uh, this is the natural version of it. We don't see it too much, uh, but it's a fascinating little thing. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank All right. You. Cure number two. Come on down. How are you? Oh, that does. Now, your cure originates from, as the world turns, Austria. So, Dina, open it up. See what you got in there. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Oh. Elderberry. Elderberry. Now, who's heard of elderberry? Put your hands up out there. A lot of folks. So, to educate us, what's elderberry all about? Yeah. So, so, this is a traditional cure that's been around for hundreds of years. And, you know, cures don't work. If, if Cures don't stick around if they haven't been around so, for so many years. Uh, elderberry actually has a powerful immune bo booster that has been shown to be effective for colds and flu. So if you get sniffles or a sore throat, ins instead of going to the pharmacy, you might try elderberry juice first. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Time to go? Oh, gosh. Yeah, and that, these are good in martinis, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should combine it and find it at a health food store. And, you know, I'll tell you, it's not as bad yeah, as Sweet. the caterpillar blaster here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad, huh? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks. All right, cure number one. Join us. The last cure of them all, and it comes from Malaysia. Malaysia. Patty opens it up, and the cure is durian. I've never heard of that. Oh, this boy. is this is about one of the most bizarre fruits you've ever seen. That's a fruit? They actually call this the stinky feet fruit. It's from Southeast Asia. But as you'll see, it actually tastes quite delicious. 
It contains oh, a powerful. Gosh. <laughs> I don't want to smell. Yeah, Lindberger cheese, yeah, right? Yeah, but it, it tastes yeah. like custard. Smelling feet is, feet is the right way. <laughs> but it actually contains this compound known as hydrotryptophan, which actually has been shown to lower fevers. So, you know, hold your nose and take your medicine here. <laughs> I'm not having any. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? No, it's yeah, actually sweet. Yeah. It, it's well, actually eaten curious. as a dessert in Southeast Asia. Let's just see if this, oh, let's see if it passes by. Mm. <laughs> That's a stinky feet look. You like that? <laughs> it's a little slimy, but it doesn't slimy taste the right that word. bad. I'm not sure yeah. I, I ordered off the menu, but that's not, it's palatable anyway. You know, if it breaks fevers, I can see it being yeah. mm -hmm. You know, better than the caterpillars. So. You can find this in specialty grocery stores, by the way. You know, all of these things are obtainable. They're all used all over the world. And what Dan said is so true. If something has worked for centuries somewhere else, it's probably been weathered and probably has some effect or people would have stopped using it.